work outside has stopped today because of the uh, lovely winter weather. So here we are again, going to fit the uh, new fireman's uh, seats in here now, just offer them in, see if they fit, see if they need any levelling up and then hopefully um, paint them, varnish bits and pieces and fit them. Fireman's chairs, now dining chairs. Just a little bit of levelling up there to do, not a great deal, just take some measurements, take that off with a sander I think. Here are the fireman's chairs repurposed into two chairs for the dining area. This is them in their position for seating. I'll just switch them into the traveling position when they're folded away. And this is also the same position that can be used in when the rock and roll bed is right extended. And there are the two seats folded away, ready to extend the rock and roll bed. There's the inside of the roof of the rear section. It's got about three layers of bubble insulation up there. I need to cover some of that with some hardboard. I've got an example of that over in the back corner. I'll show you that next. There's some hardboard covering the bubble insulation in the roof. Screwed on with a few screws. Need to do that for the entire roof area. The problem I've got is that some of the some of the parts to fix it onto are actually quite thin. So it's going to be a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. This is a seatbelt kit that I bought. I bought one uh, one of these wands here to go one side and uh, just a little buckle to go on the side of the seat box for the other. There's a hole in the seat box which is um, ready for the, the buckle. The passenger seat didn't have a seat belt buckle mounting position so I got this plate which is designed to go under the floor to pull through onto if, um, if the seat belt's needed but I decided to mount it on the back of the uh, passenger chair. So I cut this plate out of some of the metal work that I found in the back of the fire engine and welded it into the corner of this seat. Just covered it with a bit of seam filler, make it look a bit tidier. Drilled a big hole for the um, for the bolt. Just waiting for that filler to go off now and then I'm going to rub it down, paint it and put it back in the truck. Coat of matte black paint on the seat belt anchor. Here's the new fog light. New old stock Britax fog beater. Obviously totally reliable, got Sir Jackie Stewart on it. There it is out the box, complete with fake chrome trim. That will match the other one that's on there. Rear fog lamp fitted, matches the other side now. This is one of the beacons off of the top of the cab and this is where the attention to detail really comes into its own. This little green piece of tape here and this red piece of tape here means that I can easily connect up the cables which are marked red and green in the uh, beacon housing. Here we are on top of the cab. You can see that the red and green tape here show me exactly where to connect that beacon. There we are, beacon's installed in its base, just to put the blue cap on now. There we are, blue cap in the snow. So here we've got the Martin horn which uh, runs the sirens on the top. Everything again marked correctly so it can be easily replaced. Wow, look at that, blue flashing lights, fantastic.
I decided the hardboard for the ceiling wasn't good enough so I changed my mind and I'm going to use this 5mm ply which I've cut to size and varnished.